So tell us, first of all, how you got into this field. What's the interest as far as fibromyalgia? And tell us exactly what fibromyalgia is. Terrific. Well, let me start by thanking you for having me on the show. I'm, I'm a fan of the show. I think you do a terrific Thank job so of communicating much. really complicated medical issues to people. And there's a huge need for this in society. So I'm really honored to be a guest on the show. Pleasure to have you. I was a... Uh, Active, actively practicing rheumatology as a professor at Columbia University, as you said, and I realized that uh, probably half the patients that came through the rheumatology clinic had fibromyalgia, and yet at that time there was they were ignored. The 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 training of of not only Columbia but many other people tended to denigrate these people's complaints and ignore them. And I thought that this is probably the biggest problem in rheumatology. In fact, the name rheumatology comes from rheumatism, and many people believe that fibromyalgia is a new word for rheumatism. So this is a huge problem affecting between 5 and 15% of people in the United States. And I became passionate about trying to find a, a medicine to help these people. Seth, I think part of the problem is that a lot of patients with fibromyalgia and again, if you have questions for Dr. Leatherman, this is a good time to ask about fibromyalgia, complications of PTSD. It's 877-970-2999, uh, and uh, we're happy to answer your questions. Um, we don't get trained to diagnose fibromyalgia. There's really no good imaging studies. There's no lab tests that I know of. Um, and it becomes almost like a waste, waste basket for a lot of these patients who have chronic pain. Uh, they have ruled out rheumatoid arthritis, Lyme disease, lupus, everything else. And then at the end, it's like, okay, you probably have fibromyalgia. Is that the case or what has changed over the last few years in this field? It's still the case that there's no objective test done for typical patients to determine whether they have or don't have fibromyalgia. It's still the case that we have to listen to patients and ask them about their symptoms. 